Uh, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Uh, I've been completely immersed uh, since last Friday or Saturday in this uh, Jeffrey Epstein uh, business. First of all, when this tranche of documents was released, and then uh, we got the uh, the news the very next uh, morning that he had uh, committed suicide. Um, yeah, so and now we're promised, of course, um, that we're going to have an investigation um, into all of this, and we're going to learn what really happened. But um, I sort of thought back, well, look what happens whenever they've had uh, commissions of inquiry or, uh, or whatever. Uh, think back to the JFK um, uh, assassination in 1963. They had the Warren Commission, which was a complete um, whitewash and set in stone the official conspiracy theory. Uh, and then we had uh, the 9-11 Commission. <laughs> Remember what happened after that? Uh, same thing. And then in my own country, I think of almost any uh, commission of inquiry, it's always set up in such a way as to um, facilitate a cover-up. Uh, so I've been sort of waiting for this uh, um, commentary from the uh, people from True News, and they, they didn't disappoint. Uh, they went out... Uh, uh, to uh, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, ranch in New Mexico. Uh, no police tape, no sign of investigation anywhere, no sign of anybody. And they were able to uh, wander around until dogs started barking, and then and, and then they and then they ran for it. So they they described us as uh, being very uh, spooky. Um, but then uh, this next bit, when uh, if you're expecting uh, some sort of uh, investigation to come out with the truth, well, I think you ought to think again. Uh, this is the news uh, that's come out today. Let's talk about the, the autopsy. Uh, we were told today that there's going to be delay in the autopsy report. Uh, but... There's a there's a there's a player in this autopsy that folks you get, just hold on you're not going to believe <laughs> yeah. you're not going we can't make this stuff oh. up. So the chief medical examiner is Barbara Sampson, and she said that Epstein's representatives, his lawyers, his lawyers have hired pathologist Michael Baden to conduct an independent autopsy and to observe the autopsy. Michael Baden. Doc, who is Michael Baden? Well, Michael Baden is uh, the uh, chief pathologist that was on the select su uh, subcommittee for assassinations when they were investigating JFK and Martin Luther King. Folks, I told you, we can't make this stuff up. The guy that they, the guy that the regime used in the cover-up of the assassination of John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King is the guy that they're using to verify the autopsy of Jeffrey Epstein. There you, you can't make this stuff up. Yes. Now look, if he was if he was involved in the Kennedy assassination autopsy, this guy is how old? Is he what, 80 years old or so? I mean, he's got to be. I mean, did he go to the nursing home and say, you've got one more assignment for the regime? He was born in 1934, so that'd make him 85. I 85? Guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we need you one more time, one more time to time sign in. off. Well, according so. to, he actually is, appears quite a bit on Fox News. They call him their death correspondent. Right. So maybe it was one last assignment, a field assignment on this. But he's been brought in by the Epstein lawyers, and one would maybe argue that he's been brought in to either help provide the uh, the results which the defense wants or the representatives from Mr. Epstein wants, but 
It's this crazy. This, the JFK assassination investigation resulted uh, in arguably the biggest question to government credibility. I think in our, our lifetime. I mean, he was. Uh, he was. Uh, excuse me, Doug. I'll just give you this time. He was chairman of the U.S. House Select Committee on Assassinations Forensic Pathology Panel that investigated the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Basically, he checked out how they died. He also testified at O.J. Simpson's trial. Right. Uh, let me just read this statement from the medical examiner there in, in New York, Dr. Barbara Sampson. She said, today a medical examiner performed the autopsy of Jeffrey Epstein. The ME's determination is pending further information at this time. At the request of those representing the decedent and with the awareness of the federal prosecutor. Okay, so it wasn't like, you know, they said, well, don't bring this guy in. They said, okay, yeah, well, he can come in here. I allowed a private pathologist, Dr. Michael Baden, to observe the autopsy examination. This is routine practice. My office defers to involve law enforcement agencies regarding other investigations around this death and uh, other comments that they have. But so this wasn't uh, like an antagonistic, uh, you know, testimony. It came with the blessing of the federal prosecutor, of course. As horrifying as a um, a child sex uh, ring and pedophilia and the exploitation of minors is, uh, unfortunately, uh, this goes uh, far, far uh, deeper um, than anyone has been told um you know, right right to the kind of center of power of the United States and and Britain and Israel and other countries and uh, just listen to these uh, next segments because I think um, that this really uh, captures uh, the essence of things so just have a listen we're going to be given the official narrative, and uh, six months from now, if you question it and you post something on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter that questions the official narrative, you will be labeled a conspiracy theorist. And maybe a co-conspirator. And, and, and he's possible the government. homeland security threat. Well, if you're, you believe in a conspiracy theory, then you have a mental illness. And if you have a mental illness... You can't have a gun. That's right. Because you believe that there is a high-level pedophile ring operating in the world. That makes you a wacko, and uh, you're dangerous, and you need to be investigated. That's the storyline that these freaks are spinning, and they, they expect us to believe it. Well, we don't believe it. We're not going to believe it, and we're going to find out who you are, what you're doing, and we're going to lock you up. We're not going to allow you to run this country anymore. There is a evil, wicked entity in this nation. It's evil. It's not just corrupt. It's just not politically corrupt. It's evil. Mm. To the bone, evil. It does wicked things. Right. Doc, this isn't... Po look, <laughs> politics has always... There's always been corruption in politics. But political corruption in the past... It pales to this compared, compared to this. I mean, well, let's look at the names. It's both a pedophile. He did horrible things to children. And there's no doubt that he was running a child sex ring. But the story was worse. And I was praying, saying, Lord, what is it? What could be worse than a pedophile ring? And it was that week that the New York Times article that, came out. The next day. It was the next day, wasn't it? The next day, the New York Times article came out. A transhumanist breeding operation. Yes. Out of Zora Wretch. So then it went to another level because I thought, this is all about just entrapping men to blackmail them. So then it, you start thinking, wait a minute. It's, it's a two-folded operation here. They are collecting the sperm of the wealthiest, most powerful most intelligent, most aggressive, most successful males in the United States of America, collecting their sperm. All right, and he specialized, he only wanted virgins. All the little girls were virgins when he brought them in. 
And then we find out that he's, he, he wanted to, to create a, a super race. Okay, so they're collecting the DNA of the highest level of, you know, our gene pool in the United States of America. And at the same time, entrapping these men, blackmailing them, that they're forever indebted to him. They can't get out of it now. They're entrapped. So how do you get a war that nobody in America wants? You remind the politicians, hey, you know, we have video of you raping a little 13-year-old at Jeffrey Epstein's place. That's how you get the Congress to allow the president to start a war in the Middle East. That's how we get in track. That's why we've been in the Middle East in war since 2001. This is how it's done. This is why the Congress votes and gives Israel anything that they want, because everybody there has been entrapped, blackmailed. This is how you take over a country. So that's their summation. And um, yeah, I, I completely agree with them. Uh, the only thing that I could point out is that they are, uh, have come to the definite conclusion that this was a, a murder. Uh, but then there are all the other questions that have arisen, uh, like the picture of the corpse, which if you look at everything, uh, was not the same as Jeffrey Epstein. Um, and that he might have been uh, extracted from there. He might be in Israel. He might be under witness protection somewhere in the United States. Uh, Area 21 has been mentioned. So uh, the only thing that I could say for certain is um, that the official narrative that he committed suicide is absolutely uh, preposterous and all the stuff that they're coming up with, uh, they're just expecting people to swallow this um, as they have in the past. But I think uh, this time around that people are really starting to ask questions uh, how it'll be. Six months from now is, is anybody's guess. Um, and I've got no idea what the truth of the matter is, whether he's murdered or whether he's been extracted out of that. Um, who would know? Um, I strongly suspect that we will never know. Um, but this goes very, very deep. Um, so that's me, uh, Seymour Rocks, uh, from Down Under.